Hello everybody, welcome to our Cake Foo Master Series. I'm uh, happy to have everyone here today and, and thanks for joining us. I'm Amelia Carbine, I'm the host, and uh, we, we really, you know, really enjoy these Cake Foo trainings and I'm glad that you're here and, and glad that you guys watch. It's, it's fun for me and I hope it's just as fun for you guys. Uh, today we have a really awesome guest. Uh, she is uh, really knowledgeable about cake decorating businesses and she's going to be speaking to us today about uh, how to start and how to improve you know, your, your cake businesses. So uh, welcome Lisa. Hello. Thank you so much for having me. Hey. Uh, okay. Oh, really fast, Lisa. You want to put up your um, little label thing down at the bottom? If you can remember how to do that. I should have walked you through that before oh. we started. <laughs> Sorry. Anyway, um, and part of being in the cake decorating business is constantly learning. It, it is. It is. <laughs> anyway, just it. Yeah, I have that label there for you, there so it is. everyone can recognize you. Okay, Hold so on. Lisa, where's, did you find it? I'm, I'm looking. <laughs> Sorry guys. Hi guys. Okay, do you okay. have the, the toolbox yes, open? Yes, I have it. Okay. <laughs> God, I'm getting there, <laughs> I'm getting there. Ah, yeah. there you go. Hold on. Where'd my logo go? I don't know. Is it is that your preset? Did you see the presets down at the bottom? Yes. Preset name. Hi everybody. <laughs> <laughs> you know, that's that's one thing about being live, you know. <laughs> Every once in a while you run into something, you know, oh, whoops. <laughs> but we're live and, and I hope you guys, you know, can, oh can bear with us. <laughs> Perfect. There, it's beautiful. Yay. Yeah, <laughs> All right. So, so Lisa, okay. let's uh, let's talk about you yes. and uh, okay. where, how you started, where you, you know, came from, and and where you are now. I started Delicious Desserts 22 years ago, right wow. in Salmouth, Cape Cod. Prior to starting Delicious Desserts, I had worked in corporate America for. 12, 15 years and just wanted to do something different. Always had a passion about decorating cakes and just took a leap of faith, quit my job, went back to school and a year later I was in my own little business working right out of my house, right in Falmouth, making cakes. That's wonderful. So you have a, a business background then. Do you want to... I do. I um, graduated Boston University, their school of management program, which was wonderful, excuse me, wonderful, um, and went right into corporate America in business as a product management for, again, about 12, 15 years. That's great. It's always nice to have people in the industry that have that business background because, you know, a lot of us have started out as just, you know, for me anyway, and, and I know a lot of people started out you know, hey, I just want to be able to make a cake here and right. there. And then people right. started requesting, and then all of a sudden it turns into, oh my goodness, I'm going to have to start charging people for this, or I'm going to go broke. Right. And then right. it turns into, you know, I, I'm, I, you know, might as well just make this into a business because, you know, I'm uh, already charging people. Might as well do this. And and so absolutely. starting from that, we don't know how to start, where to go, any of that. So. So well, it's I'll nice you, to have people every, like you. <laughs> well, everything you said is so accurate. Accurate. I am really convinced that my business background was a huge springboard for me and, and helped immensely. But that being said, I think with the right guidance, anybody can do it. That's people ask me, uh, one thing, you probably haven't asked me this question yet, but I mean, if you have the passion to do something, I think that's all you need and then help along the way, which is what I'm here for, what you're here for, and millions of other platforms, but honestly, it's the passion to do what you want to do and getting the right help along the way, which is what I'm hoping to help everyone out there today do. Yeah, that's awesome. Okay, so you actually have a crafty class out I do. on how, how to start a cake decorating business, is that? Yes, yes. 
Yeah. Awesome. And we actually have a, a discount for you guys today. It's a 25% discount on the Crafty Classes. Uh, well, on Lisa's Crafty Class. So um, there should be a link down below. Um, and I will also show you guys. Here we go. Here you go. There's the link. If you can't see it down below, there's the link right there. Cakefood.com forward slash Lisa discount. And that right there will get you 25% off of Lisa's class for the next 24 hours. So make sure you run over there, take advantage of that discount. And, uh, and yeah, we'll talk about, you know, some of the things that are in your, in the Craftsy class. And then um, we will, you know, uh, yeah. We, and also, we are going to do a giveaway of, of Lisa's Craftsy class also. So that'll be really fun. All right. So, um, Lisa, also, you have done some consulting, is that right? I have. I is, have. That, is that a big thing for you? Is that it's becoming bigger and bigger, and I, I love it. I, when I started 22 years ago, Amelia, there were, the cake world wasn't the way it is now. It has absolutely exploded. We used to make our own luster dust. I mean, it just didn't exist. We made it. We, we shaved chalk. Uh -huh. so, they, so the tools, the the teaching, there was an internet really when I started. So it has changed so much. So now because of all the options available to us to learn, it, it, there's so many more people out there. So a lot of people are looking for help on how to do what I did. And I'm thrilled. I love it. The more people out there, the better. It's just great. So consulting has been a big thing. And, and just a note about the Craftsy class, one of the things I absolutely love about it is when you take any of the Craftsy classes, you have access to the instructor, which means you can ask me any questions through the Craftsy platform, which is it's awesome. I mean, I, I love answering yeah. the questions. So And this just brings me right in front of the people, thanks to you and Kate Fu. So it, it's great. So the short answer to your question is, I'm doing a lot more consulting every single day. That is wonderful. Yeah, that that is something that since you mentioned that Crossy is really awesome at making sure that they keep you connected with the instructors. And so it's not just going and watching a video, it's going and, you know, watching this video, you can pause, you can do an instant replay, yep. you can, you know, you can ask questions and, and get answers straight from the trainers and it's you know, from the instructors, and it's just, it, it really is a great thing, so. It is. It yeah. is. I really enjoy the crafty classes. <laughs> I, I do, too. I think I have most of them <laughs> at this point, so, yeah. yeah. <laughs> anyway, um, all right, so I want to, let's go ahead and, um, oh, one thing I wanted to talk about, which I thought was really cool, because you mentioned um, this last week, is you have, like, Thousands and thousands of cookie orders. How how did you how did you come about this and, and how do you is, you know I love that question because it is such a great question. It was old fashioned networking. And this kind of talks to what we do when we get to a point where we're working full time, which I was doing. I was in corporate America and making that transition into our own business. I worked two jobs at one point I was working three jobs to 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 start delicious desserts so one of the jobs I was working was waitressing in a local restaurant and just talking to everybody and someone came in and we just started talking which is networking turns out he owns a really big company this was 15 years ago cuz I worked it was 6 years of working another job before I could just um, support myself on delicious desserts alone. So about 15 years ago, 16 years ago, met this guy that I was waiting on, just got to talking, told him about myself. He was looking for someone to make cookies for him to give to his clients. The first year, I did 22 tins. This year, if I spun my computer, but I won't because I'll probably <laughs> fall off the desk, you will see in my office right in front of me a 400 tins. The order went from 22 tins to 400. So that's how I got the order. And that's really key. Uh, Facebook is great. Social media is great. It is. But I am seeing a huge return to old-fashioned 
one-on-one, -on -one, which is what we're doing. We happen mm -hmm. to be doing it online, but it's the old-fashioned networking. I'm meeting people. I know you guys are out there. I want you to contact me, help you through the way, along the way, but that's what it is. So that's how I got the order, talking. Wonderful. That, you know, and, and that really is a huge part of what we do because, you know, word of mouth, someone gets a really amazing cake or a, a great box of cookies yeah. and, you know, and so they tell their friends and their friends are like, oh, hey, so-and-so had these, let's get the same and, and right. it just spreads that way, you know. It, it does. If you've got a good product and you, you know, package it well or present it well and, and are very professional, then it's, you're, you're bound to grow, so. Yeah. yeah, I agree, thousand percent.